Hello, back to uh, AIX training. Um, this is our, once again, uh, IBM AIX uh, class 8020. Okay. 8020 training, uh, solving 80% of the problem with 20% of the knowledge. Um, again, we do we are on part uh, three uh, section of this uh, of this training. We went over the L basic concept of LVMs. Uh, we were on this slide right here. <coughs> like I was mentioning before, you know, if you if you ever installed AIX, you will see and compared to some other operating system, AIX installation is very very simple. There is there isn't many options that you can do during installation. There is no LVM option, other than uh, I believe it maybe JFS or JFS2 um, option over there. And that about it. Uh, in terms of the LVM name, root VG name, that's though all that is pretty much default, and it's it's just pretty standard across all of the. Um, all the AI systems all over the world. There's a concept of quorum in uh, in uh, <coughs> in the disk VG. A uh, little bit confusing, uh, so I'll be uh, I'll, I'll be I'll touch base on that uh, on a, on a later later time term time. Okay, now we're gonna basically go over. We're just gonna go over the commands, uh, and in part four, uh, we will actually go through and do the commands. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to break um, break this, uh, the the lectures uh, in the last bit. So this lecture will just go over the commands, majority of the commands, and explain the commands. And in part four, we will actually go through and run some of the commands and see some of the output and the reaction and what you can do. What and we really see really see the commands. Uh, so this part three, which should be very very short section, importing and exporting. Now, in very on and very off. Okay, very on and very off. Basically, it activates or deactivates, uh, or enables or disables the volume group. The volume group is still known by the system. The system knows that volume group. Okay, if you run a command called lsvg, okay, if that volume group is varied off, that volume group will still appear in the list of the of that command. That command is basically is pulling information from the ODM. Okay, so basically it knows that. Uh, it it knows that uh, that disk it has information on that VG VGDA and uh, it knows the file system. Uh, it, it knows about that disk. It knows about that volume group. And so you can vary on, vary off the file, and, and of course all the file systems would have to be mounted, unmounted, in order to, for you to vary off the file system. So this is what the difference is between very on and very off compared to import VG and export VG. It's because they're very, they are very, a little bit confusing. Now, import VG, export VG, basically, it removes the knowledge of the, of the volume group from the system. So when you export, when you export the uh, volume group, you're basically removing the knowledge of that volume group from the system. The system just sees that as another disk. It doesn't know that if it has any volume group on that disk. Okay. Now, when you import the volume, when you import a disk, it it goes on the disk and looks for the VGDA. Okay. It looks for the it looks for the VGDA. And it brings, and, and and from based on that information, it uh, it brings that uh, that volume group uh, uh, on varied on, and most of the time, the configuration is that whenever you import the VGDA, 
the uh, in Project VGDA, the the volume gets the volume groups get enabled by default. So uh, you're importing the VGDA automatically does a vary on VG as well. <coughs> Reduce VG, extend VG, LSVG, mirror VG, unmirror VG. Um, pretty straightforward. LSVG it just lists information on the on the desired VG, uh, and there's multiple options there, and you can you. Know, go through and look at it and, and try to see, see and understand the different uh, information on that volume group. Extend VG, reduce VG. Pretty straightforward. Extend VG is in when you're adding a disk to the volume group. Simple as that. Reduce VG is the opposite, is when you're removing a disk from a volume group. Okay, so if you need to replace a disk, uh, for for instance, you need to remove. You need to first remove all the data off that disk, okay, one way or another, and then, um, and then do a reduced VG on that disk. Uh, mirror, unmirror, you know, very straightforward. This is these are the commands you would use to mirror the VG, or if you need to break the mirror, then you would use un unmirror VG. Pretty straightforward. So again, extend VG, reduce VG. So let's look at that picture that we had. So when you're doing extend VG, you're taking a disk and you're putting it inside of the volume group. When you're doing reduce, you're taking a disk and you're removing it from the volume group. There's some redundant information here uh, on the on the device files, uh, and uh, during my training class, I I did go over uh, the book section also, uh, which uh, going through the section and, and if is if, if there's any concepts or parts which I've missed in my in my powerpoints, I I would cover that material using the book. Uh, so I will go through that book and see if there's any sections that I need to cover, and then I will call and I will um, um, have that available in, in a different in a different section on the LVM training class. Uh, thank you. Bye bye.